Hello, everyone. Welcome to day 27 of COVID-19 self-quarantine. I'm Rebecca, the Alabama librarian. It is also Easter, Easter Sunday, first day of Easter, Resurrection Day. However you call it in your tradition, it is that today. And in my little part of the world, in my tradition, uh, that means a time for celebrating life and resurrection and renewal and uh, just dressing up real nice with hats and gloves and also Jesus, but also hats. So <laughs> let's get the priorities straight here, man. Um, so things are going really well. I have just finished my Easter brunch. In my mind, any proper brunch should have three requisite parts, something fruity or fruit-like or fruitish, uh, something sweet, not to be confused with the fruit, and also something starchy. So I have fulfilled those requisites with a banana orange smoothie and a tot waffle, as promised, and also some sweet orange rolls that I made, and by made I mean I took them out of a can and baked them, but many thanks to the people who put them in that can. So, thank you. Um, yeah, let's see what else is going on around here before we get to today's poem. I think that's about it. I hope everyone had a meaningful Lent, if that was part of your calendar. And yeah, we're slated to get more severe weather here in North Alabama today. Um, a little... Easter gift from the universe, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of waiting for that to roll in. We've had some thunder already and some rain, but it's kind of holding off right now. So without further ado, today's poem is a rather obvious choice, especially if you're an English major, because it is studied in like every survey class you will take. It is Easter Wings by George Herbert. Yes. I can hear English majors all over the world just groaning and rolling their eyes right now. Um, Easter Wings is a type of poem called a shaped poem, also called a shape poem, also called a Greek shaped poem. There's lots of different names for the same thing. Essentially, this is a type of poetry that was popular, for lack of a better word, in classical Greek times, and then it was kind of revived in other parts of Europe during the Renaissance. So George Herbert snapped this right up, uh, picked up on this, and wrote this poem, Easter Wings, published in 1633. Um, you'll see, if you go to the link in the description to the poem, why this is called a shaped poem. I will not spoil it for you, although the answer is quite obvious. So without further ado, Easter Wings by George Herbert. Lord who createst man in wealth and store, though foolishly he lost the same, decaying more and more till he became most poor. With thee, O oh, let me rise as larks harmoniously, and sing this day thy victories, and shall the fall further the flight in me. My tender age in sorrow did begin, and still with sicknesses and shame, thou didst so punish sin that I became most thin. With thee let me combine and feel thy victory, for if I imp my wing on thine, affliction shall advance the flight in me. Again, that was Easter Wings by George Herbert. There will be a link to the poem at the Poetry Foundation in the description. Also a link to some commentary on this poem, some little background info, courtesy of Wikipedia. Thank you, Wikipedia. All right, friends, that is all I have for you today. I hope you have an excellent Easter, if that is on your calendar. I hope you eat all the magnificent things at Easter dinner today. And I love you all. Stay safe. Take care of your neighbors, please. Mwah.